Hey, what's up, guys? So, I want to continue uh, this from kind of from my last video, but also at the same time talk about something that could be implemented almost on any any uh, machine learning module, and that's the split data. Now, I want to take this from a simple approach because uh, m myself, I'm trying to uh, still learn really all the different ways that we can split the data but this is kind of to touch on touch on the basic way to split data and I kind of want to talk about why so if we're looking at here here's our our workspace and over here to the left we have our different nodes we can grab and down here at data transformation and then sample and split we can grab the split data uh, node and we can we can right off the bat connect them and before we run anything if we click on it we can come over here and kind of see there's a number of op options split rows recommender split regular expression relative expression I just want to talk about split rows uh, um, in the future if I if I get to it or kind of learn more about what these are I will uh, definitely um, make a video of them but for now we'll do split split rows and from what I know and what I've done 0 0.7 is a good fraction to kind of split the rows and that's based off of that split the 70 percent is gonna come out of your first data set right here and your second point is gonna be your uh, um, your training set so so we have this set, which is going to be our, we're going to use this, well, this is going to be more or less our, our training set for, for running it through an algorithm. And then we're going to use this set, which is going to be the other 30% as our test set. So after running it, uh, because the whole idea of machine learning is to kind of predict future estimates or, of what's going to happen or whatever it's going to be and you know predict oncoming new data and you know what and, and just try to kind of look at the data holistically and, and make guesses about it um, from past data so with that said without having future data on hand to kind of test that's essentially what you're using the test data so the other 30 percent the first 70 percent is going to be used again for the algorithm to run and then we're going to test uh, the data um, and the other 30 percent so from what I've known and kind of what I've been sticking to the 70 percent is kind of across um, it's kind of a default for some uh, this this split data or within Microsoft Azure machine learning it defaults to 50 percent from what I've seen that's that's okay in some instances it all depends on the data and how accurate you're kind of getting uh, your values out of it so it's really playing with it and that's also why you have different options depending on what you're you're trying to do for what we want um, if we're simply splitting data we're going to test it on some different algorithms and see what we ha what happens 70 30 is pretty decent it all it also also it also all depends on how much data you have um, some instances more is better but some not so much so it's really playing with it but from what I see uh, 70 30 is a good good percentage so I hope this helps um, again it's just a brief kind of talk talk about splitting data nothing more um, again in the future I, I may get into these other ones and we can talk a little bit more I plan on making another video kind of continuing this and uh, we'll see really you know where it goes from there uh, I appreciate you guys watching um, please like share comment uh, let me know if there's something else you want to learn uh, I'm hoping to make this something that we can kind of learn together and share information so comment share I'll, I'll try it. when I find the info I'll definitely share it um, again thanks for watching see you in the next video